I've got you polished so brightly I can see my face in you, little red tractor. Not a pretty sight. <laughs> Hi, Stan. Hi, little red tractor. Hello, you two. Just in time. In time? What for? For a ride on Little Red Tractor's trailer. Great! Yeah! Good. Well, I've got to take some milk to Mr Jones, so you've come just at the right time. That's a lot of milk for one day, isn't it? Yeah. We usually only have three pints. <laughs> oh, he needs a lot of milk for making cheese with. OK, hop on and let's get on with our milk delivery. What's that? This, Thomas, my boy, is what is going to win me second prize at the Babelbrook Cheese Festival. Second prize? But, well, who's going to win first prize, then? Well, me, of course. I've created a new blue cheese. Blue cheese? Uh. <laughs> it's not blue all the way through, Thomas. It just has bits of blue in it where the special mould forms. Mould? It... You mean you make mouldy cheese on purpose and... and people eat it? Not only eat it, Thomas, but relish it. Savour it. Mwah. Here, try a piece. Wow, what a pong! <laughs> oh, no, this is delicious! <laughs> Think I'd rather eat smelly old socks. Morning, Mr Jones. Got that milk you... Wow! That's a cheese and a half. I am rather pleased with it. And seeing as you're here, Stem, perhaps you could help me get it onto Big Blue's trailer. <laughs> Be glad to. Blue cheese? Yeah, the blue bits are mouldy. Uh, who'd want to eat mould? Not me. Hey, why don't you come and play at our house? Mum's making normal cheese sandwiches for lunch. Oh, yes, please. Jones here, speak to me. Now, ah, Walter. Some of my cheddar? Oh, yes. Be glad to drop some round, yes. But I'll have to be quick. Important cheese business to attend to. Mm-hmm. No, no, OK. See you later. Uncle Jasper, can I go and play with Ryan and Amy? Yes, yes, yes. Go, go. I... I... Uh, I mean, as, as, as long as your mother doesn't mind, Amy. <laughs> no, she'll be fine. We'll just get the milk down and then I'll take you to Rose Cottage. Walter! Walter! Now I've got your cheese. Nicola, Walter, anyone at home? Mm -hmm. Looks like a milk. Dear Mr. Jones, I've gone to take Nicola to friends. Sorry if I missed you. Your friend Walter. P.S. Don't forget the cheese. Well, it's the only reason I came here, Walter. Here it is, and a spot of Babelbrook blue for him to try as well. Well, that's what I call a cheese. Now, yeah, Walter, cheese as ordered and a little surprise. You sure you won't stay for lunch, Stan? Very kind of you, but I need to go and get some fuel for Little Red Tractor. Besides, I had a big breakfast this morning. Come on, Little Red Tractor, let's go. Hello? Anyone at... Oh, what a smell! Walter? Walter? Hello, mate. Oh, you've not been waiting to... Stan? It's nothing to do with me or my socks. Phew! Phew's right! I wonder. It couldn't be the drains, could it? Smells bad enough. Perhaps I should take a look. But that'll mean digging them up. I know, but this stench will put me out of business. Here, lend me a hand, will you, Stan? Well, OK, Walter. Thanks, mate. Hmm, time's getting long. I suggest we take a shortcut, big man. This is the life I never! <laughs> you are! <laughs> oh, what? Look out, Nipper! <laughs> Faster, Nipper! Faster. Oh, look, it's Stumpy! What's that behind him? Oh, my! Look out, Stumpy! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, 
Oh, no. Are you all right, Stumpy? Oh, just fine, thank goodness. I'll just... <laughs> think I'm stuck. What's Stumpy doing in the greenhouse? He's stuck. <sighs> Well, well. Poor Stumpy, imprisoned by a cheese. Better go and get some help, then. Still no sign of anything. And the smell's just as bad. Oh, don't I know it. Oh, Stan, spot a bother back home. Stumpy stuck in the greenhouse. Big cheese blocking the, uh, the, uh, the, uh... Oh, I know. The smell's getting worse. <laughs> Well, I know my trainers are a bit on the whiffy side, but I didn't realise they were that bad. Sorry. No, Mr Turvey, it's... Still no time to worry about that. Give them a wash when we sort Stumpy out. The trainers, that is. Right now we need you and Little Red Tractor to give us a hand with the cheese. Ah, bit of a problem, Mr Turvey. Little Red Tractor won't be able to get across the trench we've dug. Yes. Was meaning to ask you about that. Walter, have you got a couple of stout planks? <laughs> OK, Little Red Tractor, steady as you go. That's it. Easy does it. Made it. OK, now to deal with this cheese. That's it, Stumpy. Have you out in no time now. Good! It's getting hot in here. Oh, thanks, Stan. Thanks, Little Red Tractor. I should think you could do with a nice cold drink, Stumpy. Oh, <laughs> not half. And how about you, Stan? Thanks, but I've got to get back to Walter. And I think that belongs to Mr Jones. Afternoon, Walter. Um, oh, hello, Mr Jones. What's up? Someone has stolen my prize cheese. I was taking it to the cheese festival, and when I got there, it was gone. Walter, what... Ah, are you up to? Digging up the drains. I'm trying to find out what's making that horrible pun. Horrible pun? Walter, that is the unmistakable aroma of Babblebrook Blue. You what? My new cheese. I dropped a spot of it around to you, but you were out. I put it on the... Uh, oh. Ah, here we are. You mean that... That smell is... is cheese? Babblebrook Blue. <laughs> My big cheese. Yes, your big cheese. It must have rolled away. Caused quite a... <coughs> oh. <coughs> quite a bit of... <coughs> bother. Walter, the smell's getting worse. At least we know now what it is. It is that. <coughs> it was his smelly cheese, all that digging for nothing. Well, I do seem to have been the cause of a certain amount of, um... Well, sorry. Uh, perhaps I can help you fill the trench, Becky. No, no, no! <laughs> Please just go away and take your cheese with you. It's making my eyes water. Fine, I know when my cheese is not appreciated. Here you go, Stan. No, I mean... <coughs> um, I... Well, I thought... Oh, oh, I thought Little Red Tractor and I would drop your big cheese to the festival for you. Oh, oh, thank you. And I can't really carry that blue cheese oh, and drive at the same time. Not to worry. I left a big slice of it on your kitchen table earlier. Hmm. Perhaps I should have put it in the fridge. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'm the chili home! Oh, no. They must have stunk out my whole house by now. Looks like I'll be spending the night with you in your barn, little red tractor. <laughs> Day. Hello. What's that? Whoa! Oh, oh. oh I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Uh, I think so. You were going pretty fast there. Too fast, I know. I, I, I'm very late, you see. You'll never get there if you carry on riding around like that. But you're right. It's just that I'm supposed to be presenting the prizes at the Babblebrook Gazette's awards lunch. I have the prize money and a change of clothes. 
Oh, but I overslept. Calm down. I'm sure you'll make it on time. Take the road past Heronwood Lake. It's a shortcut. That'll get you there much quicker. Oh, Stan, you're a lifesaver. Thank you. Take care now. <laughs> Another one! Come on, water, my son. Look, now I've got the magic touch. Well, I'm very pleased for you, but I haven't had a single bite all morning. Yeah! Well, when you got it, you got it! <laughs> I just... Caught another one. I know. Strange, where did that come from? Hey, you call something. Well done! <laughs> Very funny. I just wish I could catch a fish. Just one, that's all. I've got a bite. Here, you have to. Well done. It must have been the hat. Not a catch all day and then this hat arrives. I make a wish and voila, a bite. Nonsense, it's a coincidence. It's an old hat, that's all. Here, I'll prove it to you. I wish I was rich. See? Nothing. <sighs> You're right. Shame, though. Just a minute, little red tractor. What's that? Oh, no. This is Skip's jacket. It must have fallen off his sidecar. He's going to need it for the prize giving. I should have the newspaper's phone number at home. Let's get back and I'll give him a call. Let him know we've found his jacket. Here, what's this then? Oh, people leaving rubbish in the countryside. It's dreadful. It's money. And a lot of it. My wish. I wish I was richer. The hat. The hat. It is magic. I uh, saw it first. Wait. This is silly. We can share the hat and we can share the wishes. No, 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 hold on a minute. In all the stories about wishes, you only get three. And we have already made two. Good point. You wished to catch a fish and I wished to be rich. Hmm. What a waste of a wish. Now, I wish... Shush! <laughs> Don't waste it. We're going to have to be careful. Quite. And um, let's take the hat home, and then we can take our time to come up with one last good wish. Yeah! Something really fantastic! You haven't seen him? He should have arrived by now. I see. Well, I'll take a drive out by Heronwood Lake and see if I can find him. Bye! Oh, I do hope nothing has happened to him. He was in such a hurry. Yeah, uh, I'd like a large swimming pool, please. Yeah, yeah, in the shape of a guitar. Oh, you can? Lovely. Expensive? Ah, oh, yeah, don't worry. Money's not a problem. <laughs> Hello, I'd like to order a very big yacht, please. Oh. Well, have you got anything a little more expensive? Ah, that's more like it. Yeah, I'll take that one. My turn. I want to wear it. I found it, so I'm wearing it. Oh, stop. Give me that hat. Is it yours, Uncle Jasper? Well, yes. In a way. Can I wear it? No, no. It's a special hat, and no one is to wear it. Why can't we play with it? I was... Don't speak! Let go of the hat. Why? It's magic, that's why. Magic? A magic hat? <clears throat> this has to be our secret. This is a special hat, and we think it has one wish left. So we have to be careful not to waste it. Wow, can I wish for a bike? No. Look, wish I... for a swing. Can we <laughs> wish for a computer? Quiet! No one is to wish for anything yet. We need to have to think. Now... I think you should go and play at Rose Cottage. I've got to go and see Walter. Oh, boy. Skip! Skip! There's no sign of him. Tire marks. And I'm pretty sure they belong to Skip's motorbike. We're on the right track, little red tractor. Come on, let's keep looking. But a swimming pool would be for everyone. Well, anyone could come and have a ride on my boat. I don't like boats, I get seasick. Okay. What about a wish for something we both like? I got it. Let's wish that I was a pop star. And how does that help me? 
Well, you could be my manager. We'd be able to have all we want, a swimming pool and a boat. That could work. Skip! Over here! Skip! Over here! Are you all right? Uh, oh, I, I think so. I, I was going a bit too fast and came off the road. Now, now I'm stuck. So I see. Oh, if I move forward, the, the bike begins to topple. And I can't go back either. We're going to need some help here, little red tractor. I don't think we can pull Skip out on our own. Oh! Oh, oh you do have a plan, don't you? Try not to worry. I'll call Walter and have him come over to give us a hand. So we're agreed. You will become a pop star and I'll be your manager. Make sure you wish to be famous and rich. Got it. This is so cool. <laughs> give me the app. Don't make a mistake now. This is our last wish. Hold up. Hello. Oh, I stand. Really? Oh, I see. Yeah, that is an emergency. We'll be right over. What is it? That fella from the Babblebrook Gazette has had an accident on his motorbike and Stan needs our help. We'll have to make our wish later. Oh, no. Nicola's taken Sparky. And I left Big Blue at the farm. Never mind. We'll take Rusty. Do you think that's a good idea, Walter? Try not to move, Skip. I'm still as a statue. Where are they? We're going to need another rope and Sparky to help us. <laughs> Stan! I don't think we have a lot of time. But your car always breaks down. Not always. Thank goodness you're here. Right, back Sparky up. And no, Sparky, I'm afraid. We came in my car. But Little Red Tractor will never be able to pull Skip free on his own. <laughs> This is a real emergency, Walter. We may have to use the hat. You're right. It's a sensible thing to do. Don't worry, Stan. We won't need Little Red Tractor or Sparky. Why? We have a magic hat. Stand aside a and we A magic we'll... hat? This is no time for games. This is an emergency. You found my hat. Your, Your hat? A hat? You didn't find a silver briefcase as well, did you? The briefcase? Mm. Yeah, we found it. Can I get some help here? I think we may have been a bit foolish. The yeah, hat isn't magic. Stan! We'll have to try and manage alone, little red tractor. You'll need to pull with all of your strength. <laughs> Let's go! Heave! Hurry! Come on, little red tractor. Just a little bit more now. <gasps> Good. A bit more. Oh. Well done, everyone. Oh. oh, how can I ever thank you? Oh, and you found my hat and briefcase. Oh. oh, what a relief. And your jacket. I found your paper and they're happy to wait for you, so you don't need to rush. Thank you so much. And well done, you two. Thanks for your help. What was all that about magic? Oh, nothing. There's no such thing as magic. Oh, I don't know. I can think of one little red tractor who is definitely magic. 